change is always happening. I think that's the thing. You know, we have always been changing, and um, also as a pop cultural historian and trend expert uh, at Davis Communications Group Inc., um, that's something that, you know, when people say change, change is the new status quo. There is no difference. And we have seen change from the 1900s, um, actually working on a book now uh, on Fanny Bryce. So I have the largest archive on that. She was born in 1891, she lived till 1951. I was going through thousands of you know newspapers in the Lincoln Center in New York. And the fact of the matter is, we've had change from the 1900s that went from the agricultural to industrial. And then, you know, at the end of our 20th century, we had industrial to te te technology. But the fact of the matter is, we've seen nothing yet. We think we've seen it, and we've seen nothing. And that's why I think you see all these new social media sites, and even the bigger ones like Facebook, are being criticized. But the fact of the matter is, if you look at historically what's happened when things change, you know, when they went from vaudeville to Broadway to talkies to radio to television, there's always going to be a place where people don't know what to do with it or they didn't expect certain things. So I think to be so critical of these large companies right now is probably short-sighted because nobody planned for all these things to happen. We're obligated as agencies, as professionals, to anticipate change. And I think that's where, and then of course, to convince. Because when you have big companies that you're dealing with, they're usually afraid of change. And that's mostly because of how their financial backbone works. People don't really get rewarded for doing new things. They get rewarded for not having any fires. And I think the thing that we have to do is be greater storytellers to kind of hold companies' hands and help them embrace change and not even call it change because it's not change. And I like, they like to use the word disruption. It's called being able to be successful with your consumer and know where they are. And today they're agnostic. They don't have a place where they watch something. They don't care where they watch it. They're not watching NBC, they're not watching ABC, they're watching the program. So one has to really understand, if you wanna sell, you have to be able to understand who your consumer is. And a lot of times it's, it's definitely an uphill battle. I'm a very big believer as an artist in any way, we're obligated to provoke. If we don't provoke to ask big questions, then what are we doing? That's, that's the artist's job. And it's not always easy, because in the beginning, people don't want to embrace it. I mean, you look at somebody like J.K. Rowling. The reason why she became so successful, and I study these kind of things, is because nobody believed that, that a child would read a book without pictures that's 800 pages long. So anything that's going to be innovative is going to require some bit of just, you're gonna have to, it's gonna be an uphill battle a little bit. You know, you're gonna have to believe in it so much and you're gonna have to find ways to convince people and people need to feel comfortable. You can't do anything unless there's comfort there. The average person who comes home from work and just wants to just relax a little bit and watch something, it takes them something like 36 minutes to find what they want to watch. So the fact is, we really have to be very good at marketing things and not take it for granted. I think what's happened is, to some degree, people, they think they're gonna find it. There's a difference between awareness and wanna see, and that gap is success. So that's why it's really important, inherently important, not to just put things on OTT, but to get, let, get help market it. You have to market it. There's nobody in the history of civilization, from Michelangelo to Rembrandt, whoever, who has not gone out and asked for the order. And I think what happens somewhere along the way is people lose a little bit of humility, potentially. And they think it's so great, and maybe it is, but you still have to be able to go out and sell it.